everyone. So today we are going to discuss about evidences of evolution. Okay. Or to put it in other words, we can also say evidences means the tools which we can use to trace out the evolution or we can suggest to trace out the evolutionary relationships. Well, there are three basic tools or evidences which are homologous organs, analogous organs and lastly fossils. In this video, we are going to discuss about the first two which are homologous organs and analogous organs. So, let's start. Uh, let's start with the first one which is homologous organs. Um, to explain you this, I'll show you an image. See, in this image, the four limbs of four different organisms, as in the four limbs of organisms belonging to four different species are shown. The first one is a human, the second is the dog, third is a bird and fourth is a whale. So four limbs of all of all these four organisms have been shown in this image. Now as you can see, in all four of them, there were basic uh, structure of the bones. The first bone, this one, which is depicted with the brown color, this is known as humerus. And this is same in all four of them. Although its size and shape also, it's probably different, but it's present in all four of them. Similarly, the other bones, like the white and red ones, these are known as the radius and the ulna. They are also present. Lastly, the yellow ones, which are known as the carpals, they are also present and coming to the lower ones or the bones present in the fingers, they are known as the metacarpals and the phalanges. So see, in all four of them, they have a basic anatomical structure. We can say they have a basic common skeleton structure, right? Now, we can conclude from this that the four limbs of human, dog, bird and whale have same internal structure. However, they perform different functions, right? See, they have a same anatomical structure. We can say they have a same basic skeleton structure. But the function they all perform is different. For example, in the case of humans, four limbs are used for eating, writing and holding objects and doing other work. In the case of dog, they are used for movement or we can say for the purpose of locomotion. Birds. Birds, on the other hand, use four limbs for flying or for the purpose of flight and whale use them for navigating through oceans see now as you can see all in all four of them the four limbs have the same structure but they perform the different functions so organs which have similar structure but are modified to perform different functions those organs are known as homologous organs okay now coming to our next topic which is analogous organs okay now what are analogous organs see in this case we are provided with an image of wings of a bird and wings of a bat all right we have the organs which are the wings of the bat, bird and wings of the bat now if we look at them we will see that they have a different basic internal structure or we can say they have a different basic skeleton or basic different anatomical structure right but still they perform the same function which is the purpose of flight. The wings complete the purpose of flight, but still they have a different structure. Wings of bird and bat perform the same function, flying, but have different internal or anatomical structures. In case of bat, the wings are skin folds, which are stretched over the elongated bones and fingers. See, in the case of bat, the wings, they are made up of skin folds. They are extended skin fold, which are stretch over the bones and the fingers and the bones are very much longer we can say the bones are elongated right but in the case of birds the wings are feathery okay and they are stretched over the entire arm see in the case of birds the wings are feathery they are not skin folds they are feather they are made of feathers and they are stretched over the entire arm not just to a particular part but they are stretched over an entire arm so the organs which have different structure but have similar function, they are said to be analogous organs. Or we can say the organs which have different internal or anatomical structure but still they perform the similar function, they are said to be analogous organs. Now, the key point here to be noticed, noted is how these two organs, they help to 
point out evolutionary relationships well in case of homologous organs they indicate common ancestry how see in the case of homologous organs they are, both the organs have a basic design basic internal structure which means they have originated from an, they have originated from a common ancestor or we can say they have originated from an organism which had the same design so indirectly homologous organ indicate common ancestry this implies that the species are related with each other okay now on the contrary analogous organs although they have different structures so again indirectly it implies that analogous organs have since they have different structures they have different origins right but since they have same function we can say that environment played a role in making the organisms adapt to that particular environment see since uh, for the uh, taking an example like wings of bird and wings of a bat in both the organisms although the structure of wings were different and the basic body design is also different but still in both the cases wings perform the purpose of flight or we can say wings perform the function of flying so analogous organ indicate separate evolutionary origins or we can say the species are unrelated as in the case of bird and bat they are unrelated species but still they perform the same function or we can say they have evolved during a particular time frame or we can say they have evolved during a same geological time okay so i hope you have gotten the concept of homologous organs and analogous organs now in our next video we are going to discuss about fossils okay so thank you